Hello, this is David, and I'm the CEO of St. Martin Center. And I wanted to take the time to tell you about the story that came across my desk. It goes to show you how a good cup of coffee and love can accomplish many things. A woman who was homeless came to us looking for assistance. She had been physically abused by the man she loved and ended up in the hospital where she had three surgeries. This man stole her money, the roof over her head, every item that meant something to her, it was all lost. And after being in the hospital and getting out of the hospital, she realized she was not homeless. She couldn't even go to live with her own family um, because she was afraid that he would harm them as well. Well, what, what did we do? How did we help her? Well, we connected her with SaveNet, one of the local domestic violence providers. We called 814 Shelter um, to help her find the bed in case the shelter was not available. 814 Shelter is a local number to call for anyone who needs rent or a house, uh, a mortgage assistance, or a place to live. We provided her with information about next steps, uh, where to receive a new form of identification because she didn't have anything. We also helped her with a uh, security deposit and rent for when she would need it. And one of our staff members who helped her had this important piece to say. She said, today we did what we could to help her. Shirley gave her a cup of coffee, Wanda packed up some food, Heidi reminded her that there was a hat in the box in one of our rooms. It was a very nice hat too, by the way. I would wear it, and gloves too. Carla said she appeared happier when she left this morning on her way to SafeNet. So what does this story mean? Well, we don't always know the final outcome of the uh, individuals that come for help. We, we don't know the happy ending sometimes. Our role is to do what we can to help, to provide the resources, and in this case, everyone here stepped up to help. We here at St. Martin Center are motivated by love, just like Jesus was. Sometimes all we can do is listen, to our neighbors, give them resources, a cup of coffee, and let God handle the rest.